saw his reflection, he got such a good idea that he yelled out loud, Yes, sir, you are a farewell, because you always looking out for my welfare. Cock-a-doodle-doo, I hollered. I am half alligator, half horse, and half snapping turkle, with the touch of earthquake thrown in. She turn a set of handsprings, grab a shotgun off the table when she landed, and blast two airborne targets with separate barrels firing straight from the hip. Now some folks will tell you storm along was tying knots before rope was invented and weighing anchors before iron was an element. Some folks will even try to tell you he was sailing boats before there was any oceans to speak of. There were rows of houses he had never seen before and other houses had disappeared. Was he losing his mind? Surely this was his own village, which he had left only the day before. And as the sun went down at night, making the whole land light up like fire, he sang a song to himself. Yeah, my name's John Henry, and I'm a natural man. I was born one morning with the hammer in my hand. Mary so wanted to ask the one question that kept biting at her. Does this mean she might see her papa? When the sun comes back and the first quail cries, follow the drink and go. As she stared into the pumpkin at the tiny fish swimming inside it, the princess thought of her father's words. She thought of how much she had wanted to help, and of how now it was too late. Now this odd duck's name was Jonathan Chapman, but along the Ohio frontier, folks called him Johnny Appleseed. Sacagawea, with little pomp on her back, stood on the beach alongside her husband and all the white soldiers and gazed in wonder at the watery horizon. The great feast of Thanksgiving continued for three full days. Squanto ate great helpings of Patuxent corn. Without even stopping to think, he ran over to a shipbuilder's joint and grabbed the tallest ship's mast he could find. Then, like the lunatic that he was, he sprinted toward the burning building and pole vaulted right up to the fourth floor. 